Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this tutorial, we will be animating the lamp that we have been modeling in the past tutorials. If you are unsure of how to access Fusion 360's in-program tutorials, please follow the provided link. Begin by selecting Animation from the Workspace drop-down menu. Move your playhead to the scratch zone as so. Doing so will allow you to make edits to your model scene without necessarily recording them. Change your view to right back using the view cube. Now we will drag our playhead to the one second mark on our animation timeline. In the canvas browser, select the top level components to select all components. Now in the top ribbon menu, select transform, auto explode all levels. The model will be exploded and in the workspace, you will be provided with a mini dialog box. Move the slider to approximately halfway to explode your model further. On the left of this mini dialog box is the Explode Type drop down menu. Change the type from one step to sequential. Notice the changes to your animation timeline. You may drag this animation inwards and outwards to change the speed. When finished making your edits, click the green check mark in the mini dialog box. When we move our model in the workspace, the change in our view is immediately recorded in our timeline. We can click and drag on a recorded view change as well. I will drag it backwards to the start of our animation. Doing so will allow the change in view to occur gradually during the animation. To view your animation, drag your playhead to the very beginning of the timeline and press play. And although the in-program tutorial tells us we need to drag the playhead to the beginning, just simply pressing play will do. If we are satisfied with our animation, we can repeat the explosion in reverse to reassemble our object. To do so, right click on the Storyboard 1 tab in the Animation Timeline, select Copy, then right click again and select Paste. Double click on your second storyboard to rename it. Right click on your second storyboard and select Reverse. To add a third storyboard, select the plus icon as so. Be sure that in the new storyboard window your story type is set to clean. Click OK and rename it Disassemble. Use a view cube to focus in on the lampshade, as so. Then I will select and right click on my lampshade. I will select transform components. Using the white arrows and arches, I will transform my lampshade outwards. When done, click OK in the transform components window. Right click your shade and select show hide to toggle the visibility off. This can also be done in the canvas browser. In the animation timeline, double click on shade 1 to expand your actions on the shade, if it is not already expanded. You may edit the durations if you so choose by clicking and dragging, or clicking directly on an action and entering the exact time you would like it to start and end. Press play to preview your animation. Now move the playhead to about the 5 second mark and hide the visibility of the cord. Move the playhead to the 6 second mark and pan out. Select the neck, right click and choose transform components. Move your lamp neck upwards along the Y axis. Perform this same operation with the lamp switch. Keep in mind that if you would like to transform an object to a specified distance, this dimension can be entered in the mini dialog box to the right. We will transform our base along the Y axis, negative 10 centimeters. We will change the duration of the actions affecting the neck, switch, and base by right clicking and selecting Duration. We have finished our animation. Now all that is left is to publish and save. Do this by going to the top ribbon menu and selecting Publish on the far right. Click OK and save. We can now watch our final published animation. This has been a presentation of the 7th in-program tutorial Fusion 360 has to offer. Please visit the following links to view the next and previous tutorials in this series, 3D printing in Fusion 360 and assembling in Fusion 360. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.